fabulous humans welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here then well hello how you doing welcome you have just slipped into the most fabulous or today the most coziest place on youtube and i am so happy to have you here well now that i have you here i'm just gonna give you five seconds to go do what you do subscribe to the channel become part of the glitter and glam squad so we can shine together and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when i upload a new video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so youtube knows that little old me i need to shine bright like a diamond in this youtube streets okay if you're a returning subscriber thank you Thank you so much for coming back you chose to come back and i truly truly appreciate it now today's video is all about vanillas we're in november so vanilla rules this is the time that you want to bring out your vanilla and when i'm talking vanilla listen let's have a talk when i'm talking vanilla i am not talking about you know the everyday simple well i think i do have an everyday simple vanilla it is very simple it's very easy but i like it because i just get to top it off and when i'm out and about it's giving daycare it's giving target anyways this is not just your average vanilla list this is a vanilla with a twist okay if you want to know my favorite vanilla fragrances from my collection in my collection okay <laughs> then stick around the night i said i was recording late I wasn't recording late, I was just smoking, chilling at a cup of drink. Now, the first vanilla fragrance on my list is a newbie. It's a newbie that I think that you're going to be hearing more of this fall and winter. And that is from Atelier des Ors, and this is Lune Feline. This is a spicy vanilla fragrance. It has cardamom in here, there's pink pepper. So it's very spicy, it has woody notes in it, and this is so good. Whenever I smell this, I think of By the Fireplace by Replica. But honestly, this doesn't smell like it. When I put them side by side, it was not smelling like it. But if you enjoy By the Fireplace, you will enjoy this. This is a very dark, sweet, toasted, woody vanilla. When <sighs> the way the cardamom comes through in this fragrance is amazing. And it just makes it unique. So this is not your average vanilla. This is a vanilla you want to wear when you want to smell deep, dark. It's giving hugs. And I want to put this on. And then, you know, the gold specks in here just takes it. Listen, I don't know how they do it with the gold specks. And especially the fact that it's unisex. I don't know if the guys are okay having gold specs, but then what's going to happen when you wear white? Do you want this on on your white shirt? Those are things that I need to ask the owner of the brand <laughs> whenever, if I ever get an opportunity to sit with them. But when I think about me, the glitter queen, um, this is how I want my fragrances to be. If I ever create a, any fragrance in the future, if I ever create a fragrance, I would really love for them to be gold specs in it. Some kind of specs because, you know, why not? If not, like, add more glitter. How can I have a fragrance and there will be no glitter? That would never happen. Anyways, but this is Lune Feline by Atelier des Ors, And it is stunning. Amazing vanilla. The next vanilla fragrance on my list is the newest baby. The newest vanilla baby. No, Lune Feline is actually the newest vanilla baby. This was the old newest van vanilla baby, and that's Vanilla Oud. This is such a deep, dark vanilla. And like i been saying, but we got to whisper because we don't want <clears throat> Mona to hear. This Vanilla Oud is what I thought the Kali Vanilla Oud was going to be. Um, now that I've sit with that collection, the Vanilla Oud is my number four. So I have bumped Tobacco Oud higher than Vanilla Oud. Vanilla Oud just didn't give. And Vanilla is their thing. This Vanilla in here is everything that that Vanilla Oud was supposed to be given. Don't say I said that. But this is an amazing Vanilla Oud. It's very unisex. If you're a man, you would absolutely love this. When you smell it, it's like... 
when you sniff it's like oh my gosh it's so good this is so amazing this is an incredible take on vanilla with the oud is just amazing and if you want to tone it down uh, what i do is to tone it down if i feel like i just want it soft i don't want the, too much of the oud then i just put burberry goddess on it this is very easy this is that basic <laughs> vanilla it is kind of basic but it's a very pretty basic vanilla so i've been using this as a topper and this is my dent so far so you can tell i've been using it so when i put this on sometimes i just go over with this and i think i end up just dousing myself with the oud and it just works so this has been my vanilla topper so i'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it and that is barberry goddess it's been getting the job done to me this is that fragrance i wear if I'm going to drop my son off in daycare, I want to go to Walmart, I'm like going to the store to shop, like I'm just out and about. Walmart, Target kind of runs, that's where I wear this and it's like my grab and go. So that's Goddess by Burberry and Vanilla Oud by Vertos Paris. Oui, oui. The next vanilla fragrance on my list is from the house of Zerzhov and this is called Ivory Root. I have never talked about this fragrance before that's because it, well it's not fall <laughs> and this is a fall fragrance in my opinion a lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it vanilla is not listed as a note that's because you know Zerjov doesn't release the notes for the JTC 400 so you just smell it and you figure out what you get this is a very spicy very twisted very tobacco-esque leather-esque vanilla very deep very strong as well it is a very unique fragrance it is not for the faint of heart but you know that when a fragrance is complex it's complicated it's funky um that's where i come in and this is just it's stunning for fall and winter this is going to be what i'll be pulling and I should pull it out in November. This should be on my November tray. But we're going to save her maybe for December. Because we still have December. We have January. We have February. We still have colder months ahead of us. So this is very unique. Do not blind buy this. <laughs> Don't think that. Some people say you get a really nice vanilla sponge cake. And very nice cakey vibe. I, that's not what I get. I get a very deep dark vanilla mixed with like a tobacco-esque leather-esque vibe and i really like it i enjoy it oh ooh, another thing it reminds me of is the next fragrance i will be talking about and that is from amouage and this is material now in here for the longest i've been smelling i feel like i pick up on cinnamon and there's no cinnamon in the notes listed what you get is elemi and you know i love me some elemi there's incense in here there's benzoin in here there's guy wood in there's oud and there's tonka this is an incredible vanilla fragrance and when i smell ivory root sometimes it reminds me of it but this is slightly sweeter it's sweeter than this one but yes material from the house of amouage is a stunning vanilla that's not for the faint of heart i don't think this is a blind buy safe fragrance because like i said you're getting incense in here you're getting elemi you're getting gaiac wood you're getting oud in here there's patchouli in here this and then you get benzoin everything that i need for fall is in this fragrance <laughs> and this is incredible to me so this vanilla is such an amazing vanilla that see what I did to the bottle. I put my twist. I put some stones around it just in a subtle way to give it my own vibe. That shows that I love a fragrance when, I'm start, when I start stamping on it. I haven't gotten to my Zerjov bottles yet because I don't know what to do with them just yet. But um, Ivory Root is a fragrance that I really love. It's very unique and I don't wear it all the time there has to be a time and place for it it's not a grab and go fragrance so whenever i want to smell unique i want to smell different then i pull out ivory roots so not very crowd pleasing a lot of people don't like ivory roots but for me over here when it's deep it's dark it's twisted it's for me so ivory roots material 
amazing vanilla fragrances the next vanilla fragrance on my list is from the house of ysl and this is baby cat this is a toasted leathery vanilla when i think of vanilla that is deep dark and twisted that is me this is what i think of when you put this on it envelops you it smells very deep very that it smells like a perfume like it smells like a top tier creation like this was it's one of those fragrances where it's like the perfumer sat down <laughs> although when it's a designer house they would give you a brief but it felt like he took his time to create this fragrance and i believe the nose behind this is dominic Rupion, who is a genius he understands me his nose is like where it's at he knows how to give you money fragrance this is your money vanilla fragrance in the fall and that is baby cat from the house of ysl i don't know why this fragrance is not available to purchase in the states i got mine through my brother-in-law when he was traveling he got this from qatar so that's how i was able to get my hands on it because you know everybody and your mama was talking about this last year and i had to have it and i am so happy to have baby cat in my collection because it is phenomenal amazing vanilla fragrance the next vanilla fragrance on my list is an oldie but goodie that is from the house of nishane and this is annie now annie was the star last year for me this year i feel like i've added more vanilla to my list that annie has been taking the back seat and i have been feeling horrible ah oh, annie is a gingery vanilla this is so good <laughs> but i would say this when i first sprayed annie like if you smell annie on the paper for the first time you'd be like what's this it kind of like how you know you smell guidance you're like what's this but when you give annie time you take annie home you put annie on your skin and you're moving about running about in the world people are gonna stop you like wait what is that i got so many compliments last year with annie that i even this year beginning of the year january february annie was killing it so such an amazing fragrance is one of those fragrances that a lot of people now own so then it feels like you know because a lot of people own it you want to be unique but i still love annie and she is an amazing vanilla green fragrance the next top vanilla fragrance in my collection is from Kali, and these are two fragrances i'll be talking about the first one is sugar patchouli Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. Now, the award for the longest names in fragrances um, goes to Mona. Because <laughs> some of the fragrances is quite long. And I'm like the gelato one, I have to like remember how to say it. But this is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. When this fragrance came out, it was like talked about everywhere and i wanted to get my hands on it i blind bought it and when it came it was phenomenal this fragrance gives you straight up niche quality it is and it lasts it projects like it does what it's supposed to do this is one fragrance that i would have loved in 100 ml but she did not make it in 100 ml and it is stunning i think that mona did her thing with this fragrance it's such an amazing fragrance it is so beautiful and it knocked out my baby <laughs> kelly vanilla 28 and this is like i think this is my second vanilla 28 bottle but see what i did to vanilla 28 she's all looking cute now because we got her blinked out but vanilla 28 is that girl she is a very she's sweet but she's also deep and she's dark in a way and that's why i like her like i tried the vanilla um what's it called by seven virtues i did not like that it was too sweet the pear i think there's a pear note in it it was just too childish-esque but this one for me is that vanilla where it transcends like if you're young you would love it if you're older you would love it if you're right in the middle you would love it and this goes on pretty much any fragrance if you want to add vanilla to an oud fragrance i used to use this so whenever i wear a fragrance that's heavy on the oud i used to put this on top of it and it would be amazing that was before the baby cats and the vanilla oud came into my collection this used to be my fragrance topper 
but that yes that is vanilla 28 by kelly sugar patchouli vanilla royal sugar patchouli 64 <laughs> by k ali now the next two vanilla fragrances on my list i decided to put both of them together because i believe that they have the same scent profile now and this is the reason why i do not own a fragrance that i'm supposed to own and that fragrance is called Rosie's Vanille by Mancera. I already own Intense Cafe and I think that Rosie's Vanille smells very similar. And I need to add Intense Cafe to this list. But then it's coffee, it's rose, but then there's vanilla in it as well. First one is Peregrina by Tamin. This is a rose vanilla scent. It is so delicious and this automizer is incredible. As I put it on, I'm like... I don't want it to waste. Let's put that. This fragrance is so intoxicating. When you think of intoxicating fragrance in a bottle, that's what this is. This is so intoxicating. It's so delicious. I never knew rose could be delicious. This is so beautiful. It's not just beautiful. It's so sexy. Oh, the rose and vanilla in here just makes it everything. But that's the first vanilla. The second vanilla I think smells very similar and it's from the house of Zerzhov and this is called Cambridge Club. Now, Cambridge Club is from the Join the Club collection, which means there are no official notes. It is different, but I think this reminds me more of Intense Cafe, but it has rose vanilla and there's coffee. So this is actually stunning. <laughs> it's stunning. But if I have to pick between both of them, I think I'm going to lean towards Peregrina because it's more delicious. It feels like there's caramel in here. It's sweeter. It's deeper. It's girly. It's intoxicating. And it just it's just so good. I think that Peregrina just has a little bit more. More juice. This, I think, has more woodiness <laughs> to it like it's deeper and darker but this is deep and dark in a very delicious way this is more delicious and so i wanted to talk about it because this is like a rose vanilla kind of fragrance and then this is also rose vanilla caramel delicious fragrance and they're amazing amazing vanilla fragrances that you can check out the next vanilla fragrance on my list, it's not a vanilla vanilla fragrance. In here, you get tuberose, you get jasmine in here. It's very subtle, but the vanilla still picks through. It reminds me of like a vanilla ice cream, but in a very mellow way. This is given when you get close, then you get to really smell me. And that is from the house of Stefan Humbert Lucas. And this is called Wish Come Through. This is a very easy to wear fragrance. There's vanilla in it and I think the vanilla shines through. So it gives off vanilla ice cream vibes. In the top notes you get ylang ylang, tangerine and bergamot. And in the middle notes you get incense, you get lapdanum, <laughs> you get tuberose and you get jasmine. And in the base notes you get vanilla, you get amber grease, you get musk, you get sandalwood and you get oud. But when I tell you the oud in here is not ooden, like it's very, very mellow and it's a bit minty in here as well. So it gives me the vibe of like a vanilla minty ice cream. Very, very soft, very beautiful. And um, a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of people, I feel like they don't like it because it's not like a Bismol fragrance. It's not a powerful, powerful super powerful fragrance but if you have this on i think you do like eight pumps nine pumps if you come into the room i would smell you definitely and the oud starts to pick through after after the top notes goes away the oud starts to really come out but this is a very very unique and i think it's a pretty vanilla scent like it's not heavy focus on the vanilla because you have the florals going on but whenever there's labdanum and you have incense there's sandalwood there's vanilla jasmine tuberose all that stuff in here you know the fragrance is gonna smell amazing so i actually 
like this fragrance for fall i got it in the summer so i wasn't able to wear it and i'm putting it on my hands to add with all that i have on and i know i smell comfy cozy but this is wish come through by stefan humbert lucas and it's a really great vanilla ice cream me minty oody laptonum me incense fragrance <laughs> the last vanilla fragrance on my list is not a vanilla vanilla fragrance it is rose is coffee is vanilla and that is intense cafe by montal this is beast mode and uh it's getting there it is getting there but <sighs> delicious such a delicious rose but you see one thing with this montal bottles with this stuff uh it drives me crazy but it's the same it is literally the same as peregrina peregrina has more of the caramel and it's more delicious i would say but this has you know the rose coffee and then cambridge club has caramel but for me the caramel is not a lot but three of them are amazing vanilla fragrances that you need to add to your collection. If you love a vanilla with rose and caramel, not just a straight up vanilla. And I think with both, with three of them, you can get a little bit of a mix. Now, however, if I had to pick between the three of them, the one that you need to get, I would say if you're not on a budget, <laughs> Peregrina is so good. And I, But I feel like this is um, feminine leaning. If you're a little bit on a budget, then I would say go with Intense Cafe. This to me is very unisex. A man can wear this as well. And so this tilts a little bit to the middle. And this, I think it tilts a little bit on the feminine side. But these are amazing vanilla fragrances that you need to try. Including Cambridge Club as well. It's just that I prefer this too to Cambridge Club. But still stunning stunning fragrance but yes yo those are some of the vanilla fragrances in my collection that i absolutely love i need to get my hands on vanilla by bdk and the new um perfumes de mali i do not own that one yet and i would love to add that to my collection as well what are some of the vanilla fragrances that you own in your collection or that you have on your wish list that you would love to add let me know in the comments below but like i always say in all things add glitter whenever you're in doubt add more glitter and when all else fails your back's against the ropes your back's against the wall what you need a vanilla fragrance an amazing vanilla fragrance to add to your list to smell incredible and right now you know we're we're, we're in the mood for lune feline so lune feline is that amazing vanilla fragrance that you need to add to your collection if you want to smell unique and incredible if you love cardamom and you love a potent juice and add more glitter thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video let me just go ahead and just throw on a little bit of this vanilla oud on top of this to just finish my enemies finish all of them yeah, father. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I smell like. I can't play with me.